Tonight at 5, we're learning new details about the death of a young mother, the third in recent days. Police arrested Dedrick Wesley on charges of secondary murder in the death of 24-year-old Beverly Febres. A man was walking his dog and found her body floating in a lake in San Marco. This was about two weeks ago. And tonight, on your side, Kaylee Tracy has been talking with family. And Kaylee, tell us about what you have learned about the relationship between Febres and the man now charged with killing her. Well, her family it tells me the two were dating, but they say they never met Dedrick Wesley, according to his arrest warrant, which we just got late this afternoon. The pair had been dating for a year. Detectives discovering Wesley's name tattooed on her arm when they pulled her body from the lake. The arrest warrant says that Beverly Febris, her phone was found at the scene. It revealed that she had been near Wesley's apartment shortly before detectives got a tip that and Wesley was trying to buy a new phone at a nearby store that is from her family giving them that tip. A store manager there told detectives Wesley said his girlfriend quote went crazy and stole his phone. So to suspend his account, he went to the store to get a new phone. When detectives interviewed Wesley, he said the last time he saw her was the night before her body was found and denied being anywhere near San Marco. Officers later found her car near Wesley's apartment in a vacant lot, and that warrant says they found the passenger seat covered in blood and a bullet casing that matched fragments from her wounds. While Wesley's arrest does not bring the mother of two back, her sister tells me it's a step closer to justice. And two other local mothers also had children and they were murdered in recent days. Jennifer Rodriguez, the CEO of Quigley House, a local shelter, says they've seen a steady increase of calls to their hotline since the pandemic. If the statistics um, are increasing locally, unfortunately, um, Obviously, you know, we've been through a lot as a society. The climate of our communities have changed, not only because of COVID, but other factors. Um, and I feel this is all contributing to the power and control dynamics that exist within these relationships. If you or someone you know is in need of help or resources, take a look at your screen right now. Here's two local groups, Quigley House and Hubbard House's 24-7 crisis hotline numbers. The National Domestic Violence Hotline number is 800-799-7233. Wesley is being held on a $500,003 bond. His next court date is August 18th. And we did also hear of his previous records. Most recently, he was pulled over earlier this week for tinted windows. We'll be sure to have more online and on air for now in the newsroom. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.